Hi, hello everyone. This is your Ben Tan Four. Today I'm going to show you how to get the elevation profile in Google Earth. This elevation profile can be used for both uh, determining the profile of a river and as well as profiling uh, elevated region or mountain regions. So I'm going to show you some examples. So let us begin with it. We are heading towards Switzerland. So as you can see here, this is my digitized river of Switzerland. So I have used this river for showing you some examples about elevation profiles. So for, first of all, I'm going to take out my digitized river. The next important thing is when you are going to do a profile for river, make sure that you do it accurately. Otherwise, you'll be getting a wrong elevation details in your profile. So this is my digitized river. As you can see here, it's almost 150 miles or something like that. So the next thing is that just click on it and uh, select the option show elevation profile. From there, you can see the elevation profile of this river. You can clearly see that river is been rising from a, uh, above terrain and flowing towards a flat region. So if you just have to click it, or if you just have to drag it, you can see my arrow mark is being moving. As well as you can zoom into the place where you have just uh, digitized it or selected or selected region. So you can see here, like that, you can see the profile of a river or elevated region, etc. The basic things available here are the distance, which is the distance you can see, as well as, as well as. Uh, you can see the elevation from the higher to lower and the maximum slope and average slope in this region in this selective region so this is one of the example which i am thinking to show of you another example is that i'm going to show you a mountain regions which i which i have digitized using a line feature basically this works in line feature itself so ne no need to to do it in polygon or point features so just follow it with uh, line features. You can see this is my this is my traveling area from uh, point A to point B. So you can see the elevation clearly here. Just click on the show elevation profile. So you can see the uh, prof elevation profile of this uh, terrain. So you can see here this is a city region or a flat terrain where it can be seen as a a lesser elevated region than the normal so at the, at the end i'm going to show you this is my c which is uh, considerably much flatter than everything so this profile is a really important thing when you are going to do it and do it when you are going to find it for a river it's really really important thing so next i'm going to show you an example of ganga river which i have done a part of ganga river Ganga region. So this is an important thing. So let, let us have a look at it. Just see here, this is the flowing area of Ganga. So the same thing I have done with this case, uh, which I have shown in the previous one. So you can see the flowing of a Ganga river. When, when you're having a problem in digitizing, when you're not digitizing it accurately, you might be uh, having some error like this one. I will be showing it. You can sh you can see here. This is a bit elevated region. We are, when you are going to digitize on this region, there will be a minute uh, there will be a minute uh, rise up in the elevation or graph level in the picture while seeing. So I hope that you have learned something from my video. Basically, the elevation profile we are going to generate it for a river, which is a much more efficient than other software compared to the Google Earth. So I hope that you have learned something from my video. Thank you for watching my video. Keep supporting.